Hey y'all, it's Brie and I'm back with another video. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so we can be cool. And if you are a returning subscriber, already my friend, already a part of the family, already locked in, then hey boo. So yeah, today's video y'all is gonna be like just a little chick chat, a little talky talk. I just been wanting to tell y'all my opinions about certain things I've been just seeing out here in the media. Like it's been real wild, real crazy out here. So um let's start off first with baddies i don't know if any of y'all been watching baddies but baddies been crazy crazy so i'm gonna start off from the situation that happened with razor and scotty first of all i honestly did not see anything that scotty did wrong that's not to say that the cameras didn't capture it that Razor didn't feel some type of way. She's entitled to feel however she wants to feel. But me personally, I feel like her ass was dragging it. Let's be real. She was dragging it because you just had Krishan playing double dutch with your ass cheeks. But then you getting mad at Scotty because she want to see a tattoo. And then I feel like you were trying to attack like the weakest link. Like that was weird. And then y'all, the way she just kept going and then she got beat the fuck up was just sick like i'm just like girl you it, it always be the loudest ones i swear it always be the loudest ones you do all that talking and you get beat the fuck up because you talk too much so yeah scotty did her big one and beat her up and razor was just acting like a little kid and at first i thought i was gonna like razor when she was like get your lick back when she was talking to Lo. but now i'm just like razor you're a grown child like i do not like you because you do too much like literally so speaking on too much you already know we're gonna talk about stunner girl so stunner girl i don't know it's just something about her that's like people just i don't know i just feel like her attitude she don't have a like a radiant personality like she's not i don't see nothing that makes me like just be like oh i love stunner girl like you know what i'm saying like she just always seemed mad to me. Like, I don't know. She just always seemed mad. She always just seemed, like, negative. And I'm not saying the other girls don't be fucking with her. But, girl, you be you be right along with that. You one of the people that misery loves company. Let's be for real. And, you know, a lot of y'all might disagree. But Stunner Girl, I don't know. You know, just from what I see, how they portray her. How they portray her on the show. She just young-minded and, you know... She just a young bitch. So let's talk about um, the fight between Stunner Girl and Stunner Girl and Biggie. So to me, I feel like Biggie is just Biggie is like a radiant personality. She's like you know loud. She's there. She you know we know Biggie, but. Biggie also give me Dick Rider vibes. Like she will literally just ride on natalie and tommy like that's what she do for real and i'm not sure maybe it's her showing respect but that's just me honestly how i view this shit like i just she give me d riding me vibes like but when she hit stunner girl i ain't gonna lie i was like hell no like but i was confused because on the episode prior to that or either earlier in that episode biggie was like walking around waking up everybody and stuff and y'all, she was she went in there to stun a girl and uh cat and was talking to them. Was like, y'all look good. Da, da, da. Like, so where did the issue like come back into play? I don't know. But when she hit her ass, I was like, oh. And then I ain't gonna lie, stun a girl funny for throwing that damn chain up in the damn um in the damn tree. I said, oh, she's crazy. So yeah, they was crazy for that. But what I really want to talk about, what I really want to talk about is um. Stunner Girl and Razor. First of all, before I even give my commentary and what I think about it, put your stuff in the in the comments because Stunner Girl. I mean, um, uh, Razor. Girl, how is you trying to sit in this woman's face and tell her what she should and should not be doing? This is the one time I probably really agree with Thunder Girl. 
You sitting there trying to tell me what I should and should be doing after you just acted a whole ass. You literally showed your whole ass when it came to you and the girl Scotty. When you drink, you turn it, you get on your demon time. You turn up. And you got the nerve to be sitting here trying to tell me when is the right place and what to do and keeping up drama again to the back. Whatever the fuck she was talking about. It didn't even matter. Girl, you can't talk. You need to be quiet. You need to mind your business. You need to tuck your tail. You need to go sit down. Okay? Because why are you even talking? Y'all, I was so blue the fuck back. Like, what? Oh, my God. I could not believe it. I could not believe it. I said, wow, this girl is crazy. So when she got that wig snatched up off her head, you had it coming. Then she want to get mad at Scotty again when they got on the bus. How are you mad at this girl because she's sitting next to you? This bitch was sitting next to you on the plane. You ain't had nothing to say. Y'all, it's that alcohol. That alcohol bring them demons out for real. So, yeah, that was that was crazy. Um. So, yeah, the whole baddies series right now, I am definitely wrapped up into it. I am definitely invested. They have a lot of st stuff going on. And I definitely watch. And I don't care. You can call me messy. Yep, I pay for Zeus. I don't give a fuck. So, so yeah, I watch Betty's and it's crazy right now. Okay, so the next thing and the last thing that I want to talk about is this whole shit with Blueface and Krishan, y'all. Over the over the years, I'm gonna say years because I'm gonna be real. I started watching. Well, like I started really like knowing who Blueface was with the Tatiana song, but I still wasn't like all the way a fan yet. Then I started watching the Blue Face Club when Krishan was on there. And at first, I wasn't really a fan of Krishan because I felt like she was bullying them girls back then. And if you know, like, I paid for OnlyFans to watch the episodes back then. So, you know, I was seeing them when they first was airing. I was looking at all the little, like, fan pages and everything. And I was watching it, like, real time. So, at first, I wasn't a fan. But then, like, over, like, the years, she's grown on me because... I don't know. She just has. I feel like she's grown on everybody. But the way this shit is playing out in the media right now is nuts. Nuts. Because why is Blueface playing in this girl's face like that? And I don't know. I don't know if y'all seen what happened yesterday. But if I got some screenshots or something, I'm going to put the boys in here because the vlogs was eating their ass up. So whoever the you know vlog is that blog is that I post or screenshot, I'm definitely gonna leave them their credits in the in the um description. But anyway, um so Blueface went on like this whole rant a couple of days ago. Mind you, this is Chris Sean's birthday weekend. He went on this whole rant a few days ago and was like talking about their baby, how the baby is gonna be a doodle baby and like, all this crazy stuff, y'all, like, attacking her, like, personally on Inst on Instagram and on Twitter. Like, he was tweeting a whole bunch of crazy, ignorant-ass stuff about this girl. Like, and then he had posted this one video, and that's what made me realize, like, yeah, he's a narcissist. He's a narcissist. He posted a video and was like, this is what it should look like when... A man really wants your kid and posted his his child's mom his children's mother when they when she told him that they were having another baby which he was actually dealing with Krishan at the time too so he posted that reaction of how he reacted and you know was happy about it and the video he reposted that on his page and for the whole world to see and basically said, if a dude don't act like this, when you tell them that you're pregnant, you should probably get rid of it. Y'all. Then after that disgusting meatball ass move, he goes on, on Twitter and talking about how she ain't, she only got one tooth. When if y'all know, the only reason why she only got one tooth is because his mama and baby mama jumped her. In 2020, in 2020. So, it's your fault she ain't got no damn two. That's number one. Number two, y'all, he was just dragging her for filth. It was so messy and so gross. Then he goes to put in her, put in the laundry room, their laundry room on Instagram, which I'm probably going to insert the video. 
pulling the laundry room on there, like showing how messy it is, talking about how she don't never do laundry. Then he uploads her closet video, a video of her closet. Mind y'all, she's in Miami on her birthday trip, and he's doing all of this for the internet. Talking about how they gonna have a doo doo baby, just putting her on blast, trying to destroy her, beat her down. It honestly was just a horrible mess. I just could not believe it because, like, now he really showing his true colors. He has before, but when you watch Crazy in Love, I feel like he manipulates the viewers into believing that he's a good person because he had me for a second. But now I see, like, your real true intentions and your real true colors. You're really a meatball-ass nigga, period. Like, and she deserve a lot better. But I feel like she needs to, like see that for herself and people telling her it's not gonna help because y'all already know how women how we can be when we in love with somebody and you know somebody else can be telling you everything wrong about them but you don't see that it's, you can't see that so you know it is what it is but that was y'all that was crazy i honestly was just sitting there and i was just too stunned to speak like what he doing the most He's doing the most. Like, somebody really going to seriously end up getting hurt. Um, or, like, you know, it's just going to be a bad situation. And they bringing a the kid into the situation is even more fucked up. And then his mama just on the internet just doing too much. Just doing way too much. Like, you're doing too much on the internet. Like, basically saying, I told you so. And, like, all this other stuff. Like, she just being weird. She's a weirdo anyway. And the mom is, like, encouraging this behavior. Like, she's seeing him being, like, super disrespectful to this woman. And have been the entire time. And she encourages this type of behavior because she's not telling her son, okay, you need to stop, you know, disrespecting women online or disrespecting women just in general. I could never. I'm a, I'm a boy mom. You know what I'm saying? I have a son. I have a daughter as well. But my son not about to be just out here disrespecting women. That's, that's anything. For real. Thanks. But... Yeah, y'all, uh, I just want to talk to my stuff. If y'all want to hear me talk about any other hot topics, any other things that's going on in social media, any other thing that's going on on reality TV, then let me know. Also, if y'all know any good TV shows that I can, you know, tune into, like reality TV or any other TV shows just in general, let me know because I definitely want to um, broaden my horizons with my TV shows, watch more things, have more stuff to talk about. And if y'all like this video, then we can keep it going. So, <laughs> no, I'm excited. But anyways, yes. Um, thank y'all so much for watching. If you made it to the, the, you know, this point of the video, you a real one. And I definitely appreciate you. So, go ahead and um, like, comment, subscribe. And you already know your girl got to go. Till next time.